So I'd like to speak about some of the things that we've done and uh, you know, also some of the things that we plan to continue to do. You know, currently, right now, you know, we do have this major, major challenge. Providence is on an upswing in so many different ways. But what happens is that you see property values start to creep up. Rent values also increase. And before you know it, people who work in the city, who grew up and live in the city, they start getting pushed out. And so, you know, you see cities such as Seattle, San Francisco, Austin, you know, they're victims of their own success. Now, if we turn into one of those cities, that wouldn't be considered a success here. We need to make sure that our city works for the people who live and grew up here. So we're investing in affordable housing. Currently, right now, we have 60 King Street, 60 affordable, low-income units being produced. We have Maplewoods, another 40 units. We have the project over in front of the Central, Central um, uh, High School uh, field. We need to continue to invest in housing. Over the past uh, three and a half years, we fixed over 400 abandoned properties throughout the city, putting them to productive use. We need to be creative, but we need to address housing-specific issues first. Okay, well. And next, Mr. Dennis. I hear you. I, I just want to know, for my sake, standing up here, is the mayor going to continue to be able to go over 10, 15 seconds? Because I would like to plan my answer for that, too. I, I just want to know, because it's been like five debates and this has been happening. Um, we're going to try to run a tight ship. I appreciate it. And no disrespect to you guys, cause, but it's just, you know, it's a little uh, troubling. <sighs> affordability, affordable housing. You know, we, we keep saying affordable housing, but what is affordable? Who are we talking about? Because the things that I keep seeing, they don't look like they're being built for us. Okay, so we, we throw these words around, affordable housing, rent control. How are we going to control the rent costs when our people in our neighborhoods are not even making enough money to pay the rent that they're paying right now. We need to support legislation for uh, to increase uh, minimum wage. We need to support legislation to uh, build new houses, and we need to support legislation for sure to uh, uh, fix the abandoned properties and make sure we get them in the hands of the right people, not just people coming from out of state. 